How's everyone doing? I'm your kids. We're playing Forbidden Secrets, Alien Town, and this is the final chapter, and we're in space. This reminds me of Portal 2. Uh, what's this all about? Oh. Can I throw it somewhere? Yes, I can. Alright, looks like we need to do something here. I have actually got nothing left in my inventory. That is actually kind of cool. Uh, oh, there's our morphing object. We have seven left. I've missed a few on the previous part of the game, but that's okay. It's all good. Just so you know, I will be playing the bonus chapter because this is the collector's edition, so stay tuned for that as well when I finish. I need to tap these symbols in a certain order, but I don't know what the order is. Can I just randomly hack? Hacksaw? No. Alright, fine. We don't know anything. We just got here. This place is creepy. And beepy. Okay, what do we have here? Ooh, a symbol. That's Earth! This confirms my worst fear. I am on a spaceship. It's another portal. Many... Uh, how many are of them? Wait. How many of them are there? Whoa, that's a tongue twister. And have they served... Yeah. I think we get the point. Uh, the clarity of the screen is remarkable. It's much clearer than our television, but I don't like what I'm seeing on it. I'm, if I'm interpreting this correctly, in a few days, the aliens will attempt to annihilate... Annihilate? <laughs> Mankind. Really? You're getting that from here? Wow. Whoa, what do we have? Wires? What else do we have? Oh, oh, here's the code, here's the code. Cool. We have a code. Uh, do we have enough for this? We have three. Uh, wait. Oh, I see, okay, so we actually need quite a few more. Uh, alright. No worries. Better said. We need one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Alright, we need a lot. Alright, code. Hit me with the code. Uh, shoot. The symbol on the right stays lit while the other symbols light up and then go out one at a time in the same order. Should I write this down? I feel like I should be writing this down. Well, let me get a piece of paper and a pen. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So, I'll put my coffee aside here. What do we need? We need lower right, upper left, upper right, lower left, and that's it. Let's try it. We've got lower right, upper left, upper right, lower left. Did I do it? Let's try the middle first. There we go. We are in business. We'll be back. Don't you worry. We need to put more things there. Hello. Need six of those, so. Metal object. Ooh, a spaceship. A connector. This ship doesn't look like a flying saucer, though I've seen drawings by people who saw UFOs. And something similar to this was among them. Really? I wonder if she's gonna find her parents up here. That would be creepy. Okay, there's gotta be a morphing object here, yes? Yes, there is. Hmm, anyone see it? A morphing object? Yes, I saw it. Cool. <gasps> parents! Did I not tell you they would see her parents? Do you recognize us? We're your mother and father. Good we left you on Earth for a reason. You're one of us. A converted human that helps the moon people. I know this might come as a shock, but you need to get used to the idea. Your mission was to live among other people and become a member of a government agency. And you succeeded. Congratulations, daughter. We're proud of you. You're one of the first representatives of the new race of perfect beings. The blood of the gods runs through your veins. That's why your immune system is strong. The world of the moon people became uninhabitable. 
so they set out to find another home. As they explored the galaxy, they came across Earth and learned it could support their physiology. Just as important, the planet is populated with weak, emotional creatures the gods were able to enslave and use for their purpose. Wow. Do you understand the ramifications of what I'm saying? You could become immortal. You'll be able to explore the galaxy and never die. Okay, this is strange. Please accept what we're telling you. You already know you're different from other people. You're not weak like they are. Whoa. The humans were incapable of mounting a defense against us. That's why many of our agents were able to infiltrate their governments. Mm. Moreover, many rich and famous people submitted to the will of the Antares. Now you must fulfill the next part I don't of your destiny and disable the biohazard detectors the U.S. government has installed across the country. That will allow us to proceed with the invasion, which will involve the use of a deadly virus. You should know the access code that will shut them off. I should write so this down. So please do this as soon as possible. Do it for our family. Do it for the great Antares. Am I supposed to believe these holographs? I don't know. I don't know. Something's fishy here. Alright, we'll grab this here anyways. Uh, this is a nuclear bomb. The Mark V. Now I know who stole it. I gotta... I don't know. Something seems fishy about this so-called family of mine. Uh, what are we doing here anyways? I don't see... One of the connectors is missing. Well, guess what? We have a connector. Uh, click on the symbols in the correct order. How do I know what order they're supposed to be in? Okay, I'm gonna make a grid here. Let's see, what do we got? We got a 9x9 nine nine grid. Start in the middle. No. Okay, so that's number one. Oh, jeez. Do I really have to do it this way? Wow. Okay, it's a good thing I'm writing this down. Okay. <laughs> this is a strange way to force us to pay attention, but... Crud. The good news is our options get limited the further down the puzzle we go. You know what I'm saying? There we go. So that's four. Okay, so we got... Dun, 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 dun. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. Shoot. I thought there was some logic here, but... Who am I kidding myself? Ugh. Okay, so that's six. Seven. Oh, you filthy beast. Nope. Okay, so that moves it to here, 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 and there. Okay, we have a 50-50 chance of getting this right. Yay, we did it. And that, is that our last piece? I think we needed six, didn't we? No, we still need a couple more. Yeah, that was a weird brute force puzzle, but not not terrible. It was okay. Ooh, another one. They're invading! If I understand this diagram correctly, that small craft can return me to Earth. <laughs> Arrows go this way. That's cute. Uh, oh, look at this green dude! These creatures are either sleeping or in suspended animation, but even at this state, they can control their agents on Earth. Huh. How do I get in there? Smash it. That's what we do. Sorry, dude. I don't know if you were on any sort of life support, but you are toast. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, what's the morphing object in here? I'm assuming we need one? Yes, we do. Let's look for it. And then we will... Return. Look at that, we're missing five. Let's look at the map here. Oh, they're all it's all locked, so I can't go it back anyways. Oh, that kinda makes sense, I'm in outer space. <laughs> and that thing broke, right? Okay, here we go folks. Let's do this puzzle. Uh let's see here. Uh this one? Yep. 
How many more do we have to go? Here we go. That one looks like a hockey team. A key! Uh, what is the key for? I don't know. Oh, the key for the ship, maybe? Was this the ship that was in the diagram? I don't know. Uh, oh, it's the key for here. Oh, I see. Okay. It's a nuclear bomb! Enter the code. You have seen it somewhere else. Let's have a look-see here. Ah ha ha ha! Whoa! Go back. There is our nuclear bomb code. Let me write that down. It's 51835. We're gonna blow us up a spaceship. Five, one, oh, I like the look of those numbers. That's really cool. Eight, three, five. We did it! Now what do we do? We don't accept our destiny, our fake holographic uh, parents. Run! Run faster! Okay, go that way! Back to the ship! Yeah, it is the ship we have to go to. Or not. And we somehow know how to drive a spaceship. Because we are that cool. Creepy children. Oh look, 007. That was actually 007. Five of the ten. Now there's seven. <laughs> All right, folks, that is the end. Congratulations, we finished the game, and you know what? I enjoyed this game. Hey, Quiet Bird, I'm talking. This was a little different than kind of the normal fantasy uh, that you see in these games. Uh, I kind of liked it. This reminds me uh, a little bit of Twin Vaccine, where it was just a little different, you know, a little modern. Okay, maybe the spaceship was a little crazy, but still, I liked it. So, without much more to say, what I will say is I'll show you that what we're going to play next is the bonus chapter. So stay tuned for the next video because we're going to get into the extra super special bonus chapter. Bye for now. I'm your Gibbs. We'll see you next time.